Peace and blessings, everyone. I've decided to make this video with the hopes of reaching a small, minute number of women that are quite unique, okay? That means that they clearly think and feel differently than most whom repeat failure after failure after failure. My name is Saida, and I am looking for a sister wife. Someone that feels that she needs and she deserves a life of respect, of happiness, of support, of strength, and unity in a family. I'm quite sure that most of you are not going to understand all of this, nor the benefits of polygamy, but more specifically polygyny, and there is a difference, and that's fine. I'm not trying to teach or change one's mind regarding such a topic, this topic, filled with large amounts of misinformation, negativity, and hypocrisy. Not to mention, it's of my personal choice. That's right, it's my choice. <clears throat> I'm just simply looking for someone that would like to be a queen to my king. And here's a quick FYI. Queens are made and chosen by her king through the union of marriage. You're not a queen without marrying a king. Now perhaps it's you that can hear and see beyond what most other females just can't. <clears throat> Before it's far, far, far too late as they are easily blinded to become just another growing statistical victim of single parent mothers, pornography, of stripping, prostituting, webcamming, having sex with many different men, STDs, jobless, homeless, drugs, used and abused after abusive failed relationship after abusive failed relationship. And yes, it can happen to you. Just look at all your friends and relative situations due to all their choices in life. If you want better for yourself and you feel that you will be a great wife and a great sister wife and you are ready to leave the rat race and do better for yourself, then we should talk. If you would love to have a family, but most importantly, someone that love that will love to have a lifelong committed marriage filled with love, honor, higher learning and positivity, stability, purpose and self-worth, all of which is almost no longer valued today in our society, I would love to hear from you. I am second wife and I've been happily married for several years. I have an incredible sister wife whose marriage is twice the years of mine. We have our own business. Each of our marriages are monogamous and independent and our happiness and success record says it all. So we know what we're doing. We're not experimenting. We have children and we are healthy, happy and wealthy, all of us. And our husband is African American and Native American. He is an incredible husband, an incredible father. He's a musical genius. He's an entrepreneur, a mentor, a guide. He is strong physically and mentally. He's noble, honest, knowledgeable. He's supportive and gifted, very, very gifted. Plus so much more that I will have to make several other videos just to finish. He looks incredible and is very, very, very much into fitness and well-being. He generally does more in the morning than most men do in a week. And <clears throat> we live in a luxurious home on eight acres of land. I am African and Native and Chinese American. So race is not an issue. And we are looking for someone that is strictly heterosexual, not gay, not bi. Someone that loves children, someone that would like to have children of their own, but doesn't have any yet. Someone that is loyal, someone that is honest, someone that is fit and petite, and between the ages of 18 and 35. But most importantly, Someone that doesn't have all the answers, but just knows that the lonely, bitter, baby mama, promiscuous, stressful, and I can do it all by myself, I don't need anybody, approach that most women have adopted in our society just doesn't work. And it all ends the same. It's a dead end. Going from guy to guy, having child after abortion after child, going from friend to shelter to aunts, 
and ending up alone with no support, no money, and no real family is not where she would like to be. If that's you and you want out of this vicious, vicious, vicious cycle, then contact me. Thank you for your time.